this is a lovely spot. Really nice. So I don't quite know how far I've come. I'm about 20 kilometers, I think, outside of Dieppe at the moment. So this morning, I've taken a train from Paris. So left Paris Saint-Lazare at about 10 o'clock this morning. And I've taken the train to, uh, to Dieppe. And the idea is, is to take the train one way and then to cycle back to where I live in the west of Paris, which I think is about 200k or so. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of days over it. So I'm bike packing it. So here we go. There's the bike. Uh, and I've put my tent and I've got my tent and my sleeping bag and the first campsite I'm going to so I'm going to stop at proper campsites a little bit of creature comforts so first campsite is about 35k away in a place called Forge Les Eaux and I'm also going to camp the, tomorrow night as well so I'm going to cycle all day tomorrow um, and that's in a place called Dongu or Dangu and then hopefully the day after I'll be able to get home all being well so uh, I've only just really organised this trip over the last couple of days. It's a three-day weekend in France and uh, the weekend's free. So I spent the last couple of days kind of organising things quite hurriedly and a bit of a solo mission as well this time. No one else was available to come, uh, but I'm quite excited about that. So a bit of, uh, bit of solo uh, cycling and solo camping, which is going to be great. Um, and then obviously home uh, the day after tomorrow. So we're going to see how it goes. About four years ago, I did the uh, the Avenue Vert, or I've done the Avenue Vert before. When we were there's a group of us who uh, were all 50 in the same year. And as part of the uh, sort of celebration, we're getting into our into our 50s. We thought it would be quite a good idea to try and do a big charity challenge. And so we, we cycled from Paris to London and did the, uh, the classic uh, Paris-London cycle path and cycle route. And then we cycled back to Paris within 50 hours. So we tried to do it within the weekend. And whilst that was a really fantastic, we all did it, fantastic uh, weekend. It was very much like head down, go, 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 all the time, no rest. And it really didn't kind of put our heads up to see where we were. I'm really enjoying today because I'm doing exactly the same route, but I'm have, able now just to have a look around, see where I'm cycling, have a look at the, uh, the landscape and visit the villages. It's, it's really nice. That's great. Look at this, this is mad. So I'm not absolutely sure, certain when I'm gonna post this video. Uh, it might take me a couple of weeks, but I'm about eight days or 10 days, I think, since I came back from the Alps on the Grand Traverse de Les, de Les Alpes uh, Provence. And there we were doing, uh, what about, up to about 1700 meters of ascent a day. And it was just about uphill all morning, downhill all afternoon. And then a week later, and I'm faced with this. This is lovely. <laughs> Absolutely, almost completely flat. The Avenue Vet. What a delight. Right, I'm just coming into this village to see if I can find something to eat. A little cafe or a shop. Lots of dogs.
I don't think we're going to be lucky in this one. Carry on. Alright, so we're on the second day of our, our little trip down to back to Paris from Dieppe. Uh, I've just spent, I've just cycled a little few kilometres out of Forge Les Eaux, where I spent the night. Really nice little campsite, um, a place called Les Minières. Uh, very, very nice, slept really well. Uh, showers, I even got a pizza, a 40 centimetre mega pizza delivered to my tent, like completely decadent luxury, it was fantastic. So I've just been into Forge Les Eaux this morning, uh, grab some breakfast, I've kind of put up, um, filled my bag up with some supplies and uh, absolutely beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day. It's sunny, it's quite cool, it's just perfect. So now I'm off the uh, the old railway route that runs between Dieppe and Forge Les Eaux, so that's, uh, that's done and dusted now. And I think from this point on, I'm sharing uh, the pathway with, with cars, but it's on very, very quiet roads um, and just very, very beautiful countryside. So we're gonna now make my way to saint germain de fly uh, which is kind of the first stop. Hopefully I'll be able to go to grab a coffee there. That's at about 30k or so. And then from then on, we're going to carry on to my destination tonight, which is a place called Dongu, Dangu, uh, where I've booked a camping site for this evening and hopefully more pizza delivery. Yeah, it's not very busy here. I've just made it out of uh, saint germain de fleet I think I'm probably something about 10k out of there now. Well on the way to Gisors, had a nice uh, splurged on a burger. Quite a long lunch actually, it's a bit too long longer than I thought it was going to be. So I sat and relaxed for a bit. And now I'm on my way to Gisors, which I think is quite a, a touristic town. And then my campsite is just a little bit beyond there. The first paying attention actually in saint germain de fleet that the uh, Avenue Vert actually has two options there. One goes kind of via Beauvais, the airport that's north of Paris, and one goes via Sergi Pontoise down towards saint germain en laye and Maison Lafitte. And uh, that's the way I'm going today, but it's worth paying attention actually. Seem to have uh, quite a few people that took the wrong branch, and then we're doubling back. But the clouds have come over now, it's a little bit more cloudy, beautiful sun this morning. Um, so the day's changed a bit, but still really great riding, very gentle. And hopefully about another 25k or so, until I can stick the tent up and relax for the night.
lovely place. No cafe. There we go. Jesus Castle. And a fair. Well, here we go. So we've arrived in the campsite in Dangu, the uh, Camping Municipal de Une, I think it's called. Um, just beautiful, just beautiful. So uh, I'm the only tent here. Everybody else is in mobile homes and statics and caravans. Um, and I've got this little, uh, they call it a presqu'île in French, but a little, uh, what do we say, a little uh, piece of land poking out into this lake all to myself this evening. So, uh, guys, beautiful. It's gonna be a fantastic evening. Oof, look at that. That's my view while I eat my dinner. Perfect. Oh, I'm inside the tent and uh, it's all gone dark outside. Because I'm camping by a lake, there are thousands of toads croaking. <laughs> Absolute chorus. What a place. There we go, so morning. This is uh, my third morning now, so I've just left Dangu. Um, about, what, about 2k away now. Uh, so kind of on my way now. This is my third and final day, so I'm kind of hoping to get back to kind of region where I live by about mid-afternoon. So about, about 70, 80k today, I think, to do, so not too bad. Uh, the campsite was absolutely lovely last night. I didn't sleep very well with all the frogs and toads. They don't stop when the sun goes down. I think they get worse. And then the geese and swans are beautiful. But the geese and swans then joined in, uh, yeah, as soon as the sun came up this morning. So, uh, recommend it as a campsite, probably need earplugs. Hey, at last, a bit of off-road. Hey, that's why I bought the mountain bike. <laughs> this is the first bit since the app. I wonder if there's going to be more. I think there will be. So again, on, a, uh, on an old railway line this morning, so super relaxed. Super relaxed riding, no cars, very few other people, just trolling, just pootling along, eating up the kilometres. I think I might be riding into some weather by the looks of things, so it could days could change i'll be quite lucky so far but i reckon there's a bit of rain on anyway let's see i'm going to try and find somewhere for my coffee as well didn't manage to find anywhere so far this morning so hopefully it's not too far before i can get a nice hot drink well, i'm just having a little stop here just outside of Shosi. Um, nothing open today, so I wasn't, still haven't managed to find myself a coffee, but I've just stumbled across this place. Quite grand. And I'm just entering, or just coming into the final stage, really, of my, my little cycle this weekend. And you see places like this. Incredible. And there's still nobody here. <laughs> Empty, everything's closed. So a little bit more off-road. And this is even more or less prepared than the other bit. It's been very varied since Chaussee. It's nice. It's a change from the uh, railway paths and the roads. Good. So I've made it to Sergi now. Just navigating 
our way around the town, definitely back into the Paris area, out of Normandy, out of the Vex town, and definitely feels like, obviously, things are getting much more built up now. There's a bit of weather around, and let's hope I can skirt that. I think that's over Paris, hopefully, but we'll find out. Well, we found the scent. There we go. So we count with Sergi. We've avoided the clouds. So for the moment, I've avoided the rain, and we've refound the scent. So there we go. Brilliant. So definitely, definitely, on my way home now. Great stuff. So here we go, there's bluebells, there we go. Okay, so I'm in the Forêt de Saint-Germain, which is quite near where I live now. So I'm gonna stop filming, because uh, I've just got about another 15K or so till I go home, which is, uh, which is not too far. What a fantastic journey. I did get, get caught by a bit of rain at the end there. Coat's back on, uh, but nothing too bad. What a fantastic journey. So really, really enjoyed it particularly with the camping i really like breaking it up and i think just as i said at the start of the at the journey just on day one just as i was leaving dieppe i think the really big idea of to have this little trip was to try and do things slowly and it was great so i can highly recommend it right i'm going to go home and get a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits